everybody. Hope you're having a great day today. 90 days, 25% of a year. That is what I've spent on this tuxedo laptop. In business, it's called a quarter. And in 90 days, you can do a lot of things, especially if you're in business for yourself like I am. And I want to tell you, this has been the best experience with a piece of hardware that I've had since probably the first time I used a ThinkPad years ago. But even then, this has been just a great experience. Now, what I've been using is the Tuxedo Pulse 15 Gen 2 comes with the AMD Ryzen processor. It's a Ryzen 7, 8 core, 16 threads, uh, WQHD display, 18 hours of runtime on the battery. Now, that's something I wanted to touch base on right there. I do a lot of video editing. I do a lot of creating in GIMP. I put this thing to the test when it's not on battery. It runs awesome. And then when I take it off and I adjust for performance, it still runs as fast. But this thing has battery life that really is up there with like a MacBook. It truly is. That's the one downfall that I have a lot of times when I have laptops that aren't created specifically for Linux. They're created for Windows. And then I throw a Linux distro on it. And then all of a sudden I'm getting, you know, 25% of what my battery life used to be with Windows. I haven't experienced that here. This battery runs forever. I've used it actually for two solid days. It's presently on 33% and I went ahead and plugged it in because it needs to charge. And there's another thing I need to point out. When I'm doing videos and I'm doing work, generally on Windows laptops, those that are designed to run Windows, and I'm running Linux, and I get into, you know, having OBS running in the background, and I've got Shotcut doing some rendering, and I'm over here working on my thumbnails and GIMP, the fans will kick up, and it will sound like an airplane taking off. I don't experience that on the Tuxedo laptop. It has been a smooth, quiet, it just, when you turn it on, and you sit down to work, you can work. You don't have to worry about anything. You don't have to worry about fans kicking up. You don't have to worry about it not being able to do what you want it to do. And it has just really been a great experience. It's got a great magnesium case, so you get a great feel with it. It's got a professional feel. The hinges on it are strong. And on top of that, let's just go ahead and get to it. Tuxedo OS. I'm using version 2 right now, I do believe. Let me open this up and verify. Uh, about the system, Tuxedo OS 2. We're running uh, kernel version 6.2.0 dash 10,005 Tuxedo 64 bit, and it's KDE Plasma 5.27.3. Now, one of the things, especially of those of us that are been in Linux for a while, one of the first things we want to do when we get a new piece of hardware is what distribution am I going to put on it? What am I going to do with it? And with me being on Arch for so long, I had an itch to put Arch on it, and I fought that off. I thought, no, I want to know what the experience is like with the Tuxedo OS in and of itself. And guys, I'm not going to lie to you. It has been awesome. I have been on Arch so long and thought, I need to stick with Arch. It's the only way I can do what I need to do. It's the only way that I'm going to be most up to date and be on the leading edge of Linux Tuxedo OS has really blown me away. It makes things really easy. It updates. It got security updates are not a problem. And that's crazy because it does use the Discover Software Center to do the updates. And I've had relatively bad luck in the past with Discover. But for some reason, Tuxedo has got it running smooth. And I applaud them for that. They've taken the time not only to create a piece of hardware that is just great to use and really is professional grade. I mean, like I said, when I said it earlier, it rivals the MacBook. It truly does. With the keyboard, I love the keyboard on it compared to all the other laptops I've ever used. My Asus ZenBook, uh, the Librem 14 even. The, the keyboard on here has such a great feel. Uh, low travel, everything works good. It's got the backlight. Uh, it's backlit just enough to where it lets you see everything, but it's not too bright and it's not too dim, if that makes sense to y'all. Now, I do have the uh, option if I want to. It does have the Muon package manager. So if I want a more of a synaptic type way of installing something, I can. And sometimes I'll find 
uh, applications that for some reason just don't pop up on Discover that I can go into the Muon package manager and put it on the system so I don't have any problems at all. The only flat pack that I'm running right now is MailSpring. Now, I like MailSpring because aesthetically I like it much better and I like it for the simple fact that right now we're right at a year since they went full open source. So it's a lot easier for me to use it. They do have an $8 package that you can get if you want to. I don't use it, but I'm really excited to see what Thunderbird's redesign is going to look like in July. So that's something I'm waiting for too. But I mean, really, at the end of 90 days, everything I've thrown at this laptop has worked without issue. I can run virtual machines without a problem. I can run GIMP without a problem. I can run Shotcut. I can do whatever I need to do in Shotcut. Or I can run Caden Live. It just depends on what I'm doing specifically for video editing that lets me get things done. But everything that I have thrown at this laptop, it is chewed up and spit back out at me and it's done it professionally. Now, I keep saying MacBooks, MacBooks. This is a great experience. I promise you, with the magnesium case, backlit keyboard, comes with Linux already on it, the Tuxedo Pulse 15 Gen 2 blows other laptops out of the water. It is a total professional feeling laptop. Now I do want to point out, I am not getting paid to do this video. There is no paid promotion for me to be saying this about the laptop. They sent it to me for a 90 day test drive. That's specifically what I asked to do. And they said, not a problem. They've sent it to me. Now I would like to work something out with them where maybe I can do some uh, sponsorships in the future so I can get me a laptop like this. But if that can't work out, I will be going out and spending my own money on a Pulse 15 Gen 2 Tuxedo laptop. And I'm probably going to do that within the next two or three weeks. I promise you, if you take it, you buy it, and you use it, you will be completely blown out of the water. So, really, my final verdict, the Tuxedo Pulse 15 Gen 2 laptop. Is it worth the money? Not only is it worth the money, it's worth the battery life. Not only is it worth the battery life, it's worth your workflow. Everything goes smooth. Everything is simplistic. They update easily. You get your uh, updates, whether they be security or just application updates, relatively maybe every two or three days. I just had some pop up right here. As a matter of fact, let's go over and see what it's wanting to update. And right here, it looks like a 898 megabytes. So this is a major update here. It's going to update KDE, VirtualBox, Firefox, and I will do that when I'm done recording the video. But like I said, my final verdict is, one, it's worth the money. Two, it's worth the battery life. Trust me, when I go somewhere and I pull this thing out of the bag and I got to do work all day long, most of the time when I'm using different type of laptops, I need to plug them in, the fans kick up, it's just annoying. This right here is Linux from the ground up. Hardware, software, and it is a beautiful laptop. It fits well wherever you want to use it. And it is probably one of the finest pieces of hardware I've ever used. So if you're thinking about getting a tuxedo laptop, I definitely would suggest going over to their website. I'll make sure to put that in the link below. And I also want to send a shout out to them because they're the ones that are going to be basically sending me another tuxedo laptop to do my gaming series. Now, this is going to be more of a gaming laptop from them. I'm really looking forward to that. And I'm hoping that I get it started probably the first or second week of May. But that's going to be a 10 video series that will be pretty much uh, done completely on the tuxedo. And I got a good announcement that I want to make, but I want to wait till I get the laptop in because I think they're going to work with me on a giveaway. So if that's something you might be interested in, please hit that subscribe button. So when we get to it, you won't miss any of those videos. And if you do enjoy the content that you see, zip on over to Patreon or maybe even become a member right here on YouTube. What do you think about the Tuxedo OS and the Tuxedo laptop? You got something to say? Please drop that in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today. Please like the channel. Likes keep me in YouTube's algorithm, which means if you found the information in this video helpful, somebody else out there might as well. And subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. As always, thank you for watching my video and I will see you in the next video.